how do you switch from some XYZ uh, domain to data analytics? How easy or difficult is it uh, to get into a senior most group? Hello, uh, Sharul. Hi, 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 how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, you're doing well. Sunny, finally, finally, finally. in Goa after yeah. a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And also, I saw you last time in October. It's so good to see you again. Likewise. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So yeah, everyone on my channel is talking about um, how uh, data analytics work and basically how can one get a remote data analyst job. So you being a senior remote data analyst, so what does a senior data analyst do? Let's start with the basics. Uh, so it's pretty much like what you do on a regular basis, like uh, starts with like you have the data. So you need to work with cleansing of the data first. Because what I think is, uh, like, if you do not have a perfect data set, you cannot do anything about it. Right. So uh, a lot of people do ignore this fact. Um, like, you know, that happens. Uh, yeah. You know, when you're starting, um, like, for the first time in a data analytics field, like, uh, we try to overlook a lot of things. Yeah. And uh, the one thing, the most important one is, uh, like, cleansing, uh, data cleansing activities. Mm -hmm. So you need to make sure that uh, you know uh, the data set is perfect. Uh, take care of the null values. Take care of uh, all the outliers and everything so that it helps you uh, achieve the task. Uh, because uh, if you don't have it, um, you're going to get wrong analysis and it's not going to take you anywhere. Got it. So starting off with those, uh, now what skills that are required for this, mm. that particular data cleansing uh, activity? So it's basically around uh, you know SQL, mm. Python, use it, populate the data, make sure it, it is uh, what it is, like uh, what's supposed to do, uh, mm. be done with this. So once we do have that perfect data set, uh, it will help you uh, with your analysis to get you where you are. Now uh, to the question that you asked, like uh, what does the senior data analyst do? So pretty much uh, it revolves around taking on uh, challenging tasks. Um, so for me, it revolves around you know some advanced analytics, uh, say like using the statistical models mm -hmm. and uh, you know finding out gap analysis. Um, I did a project on churn analysis as well, uh, forecasting. Everything is covered in that. So, um, with time comes responsibilities and uh, all that happens. So. Oh, wow. And you are doing a really good job because uh, the customers depend on what you, uh, you know, exactly. uh, what you do. So, so, when we are working, so the thing that we need to uh, focus on is like, uh, what are we trying to achieve? Mm -hmm. So, uh, whom are we getting that analysis done for? And, in our corporate world, uh, clients come first. Right. We have to make sure, like you know, uh, what they are after is uh, something uh, like we. I mean, like we need to make sure that we align right. our thought process. So basically, uh, what the customer needs, we need to think. Okay, okay so is this the uh, correct data that we have uh, that satisfies clients' request mm -hmm. and requirement? And once we do have it, then we go ahead. Okay. Um, a lot of um, you know uh, work revolves around that. Uh, mm -hmm. like, you know, making sure. The client gets what they need. And this is, and this is quite a good job because you're directly you know, talking to customers, you're knowing their pain problems, everything. So if anyone wants to make this impact, if anyone wants to join or switch into data analytics, uh, so how do you do that? How do you switch from some XYZ uh, domain to data analytics? See, um, what I would say, like, it's pretty um, simple. Uh, I mean, because the thing is, like, uh, I do have, like, relatives and, like, friends reaching out to me, asking, like, um, can I make a switch? I'm like, yes, definitely. At any point in time, if you feel like um, that solving puzzle excites you, it, I feel like our data analytics is pretty much the same. Like, you know, there's, like, a piece of puzzle, and if you're into it, if you want to solve it, go ahead. The only skills you need is like uh, start with the basic, uh, basic Python, basic, basic SQL, a little bit of dashboarding, uh, yeah. like you can use Excel, Google Sheet, and yeah. trial version of the tablet. Oh, yeah. So they, they have like a free trial also uh, with a good data set as well. Everything is there. Are you someone who is looking for a job change, be it a fresher or a senior person? You can get your dream job in just 15 days. Go check out the link in description, which is Relevel by Unacademy where you can crack a test and get hired instantly. Don't believe me? You can tr check out their website. There are hundreds of companies, hundreds of people who have given their test and got jobs worth of 60 CR. You, all you have to do is just click the link in the description. You have to just click get hired and you have to select the test which you wanted to give. You all loved uh, Sharul's discussion about data analyst. Now you can go here and just check data analytics test. 
you can get CTC up to 14 LPA. There are 150 plus jobs available. So all you have to do is book your free slot and prepare for the test. You just have to give the test, crack the top most companies and that's how you get your new job. They also have a recent program which is known as Re-Level Select which is only available from 6th July to 10th July. So hurry up, register now. All you have to do is book the test, clear the test and interview with the top companies. The more tests you give, you will be getting daily prizes. For example, the rank 1 will get a MacBook Air, rank 2 will get iPhone 13, rank 3 will get Apple Watch 7. And this way, top 25 scorers, top 100 scorers will get a lot of goodies from ReLevel by Unacademy. So what are you waiting for? Check out the link in the description and get your dream job within 15 days. Basically, you can start for free. Exactly. And, uh, yes. You can go deeper into it and start applying. Exactly. Oh wow, that's that's amazing. Uh, so, how easy or difficult is it uh, to get into a senior most position? For example, someone who is you know struggling or working you know, for two to three years as a data analyst or an entry data analyst or SQL developer. So, the place where you are right now, which is a senior post for data analyst. So what does it take? So basically, how can one use the power of LinkedIn or what do you suggest? How do you go? So, you stay in the company for a long time? See, uh, staying in the company for a long time uh, surely depends on like individual case, like, uh, you know, um, how well it works for you. Mm. But at the same time, uh, the things that can actually help you advance are like uh, your skills. Good. Problem solving skills, um, logical thinking. Mm. Uh, so, if you know, if you so the thing is like what I understand is like you need to understand the problem first and uh, come up with a solution. Like uh, it doesn't have to be like you. Uh, no one is asking a um, person to like you know come up with something which is not even there in the world. Like that. <laughs> it's not like that. So it's about like yeah, take your time, do some research, uh, come up with like a good um, like you know solution. So that actually helps you advance uh, like in your career. So what I've noticed uh, being in this world, uh, corporate world for like uh, three plus years, so, so uh, that's what I've noticed. People want, uh, so solutions are there, it's all out there, but um, it just depends like, you know, if it is, if you can apply, use those already existing, uh, yeah. you know, solutions, you yeah. can like a new way. So. That's a really good tip for uh, all of our viewers. Uh, so I might need some more tips. How do you keep yourself relevant? So the world is advancing at a you know super fast speed and you have to keep up. You have to match customer requirements, the company requirements, your uh, self expectations as well. How do you do that? So being honest, like um, I'm not probably the most updated person. Uh, but see how I make up for that is uh, trying to get involved into the projects which are definitely new for me. Something, anything, any task which is absolutely new for me, so I don't hesitate from a challenge, first of all. So uh, what I see is like, uh, so that's uh, like one of the problems, like you can say like it's a drawback, uh, because I am not that up, up to like whatever that's happening in the world. So how do I keep myself relevant? Yeah, doing those things. Like picking up things, um, participating in things like which uh, probably are new to me, so it helps me learn, and at the same time, it's fun. Ah. Plus you mentioned about projects. If someone is doing projects, basically he is trying to learn many things while solving. Exactly. Uh, so it's a process, learning process. Yeah. Uh, so, so every day, every day, I literally I'm going to say like every day I learn something new. Ah. Just because of that. Because uh, you can probably, so what happens is like a lot of us like forget about like, okay, so this is a job, mm -hmm. let's just leave it at that. Ah. So we don't try to get out of our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we don't do it, then we are pretty much stuck. And no one can help in that case. Like we have to push ourselves. Yeah, I see you're being really honest right now <laughs> with yourself, and uh, that's the, the thing which I like about you. So yeah, uh, one last thing uh, I would like you to ask is uh, any tip that uh, you will be giving for any college student or any professional who is watching you right now. Anything that you want to say? To yeah. Um, so. I know it's difficult, um, especially as a beginner, uh, but at the same time, um, stick to it. And uh, there are like a lot of things which can help you uh, connecting 
uh, networking at the same time like you know there there are like a lot of good projects on Kaggle hmm. I've done it uh, back then um, so I used to utilize my free time um, when I was not working after graduation hmm. um, pretty much um, getting the data set from Kaggle and just like trying to do uh, something with it like or at least like even if you're trying to do exactly what has been done it's okay because that's new to you probably it's already done but it's new to you so we are going to learn something so i would say just the basics keep on brushing it up i i did actually a hacker and challenge uh, for sequels because um, what happens is like uh, thinking out of the box is one thing uh, that is quite required so i did that challenge because uh, the questions over there were made our organized in such a way like it makes you think okay so how am i supposed to get this done mm. so a lot of things help amazing Sharon. this was a really good conversation and i think so many viewers must have you know learned a lot from you thank you so much thanks a lot means a lot thanks, thanks guys yeah i'll, I'll meet you soon okay. next time <laughs>